Another thing we also need to update is the URL for API since this is a new resource. So if we go to Cloud Formation and if we look for our HTTP API and sometimes search may not be the right way, but if you look at the resource here and we get our API, it should still show on the rest. So let me just refresh this. And we haven't actually pushed that change. So let's do a sound build. And let's do a deploy. This will create a new resource. So this is something I'm um, glad we're doing this in real time, right? When we changed, created our API, we kept the same name in CloudFormation. Our Sam is telling us that, well, we actually can't update a REST to an HTTP. So we need to change the name. And those are just some quirks you'll you'll come across as you work with with CloudFormation and SAM. So here, if we do server API, let's just make this a little a slight change, and let's just update to all the references. You can do a Control F, but I'll just do a a manually go to each function so you can follow along and make sure we're referencing the new name so if we look at the get urls that is done and our final function for create if we reference server api so we should have three or four so if i do a command f you should have four of the matching names, the actual resource and the tree references. So let me save this. And I'll do another sound build. And I'll deploy. And we're done. So let's go to cloud formation. And we should see our new resource. And here is our V2 API. Let's open this up. And the, you see this console looks a little different, right? There are routes. Very simple. There is authorization. There's integration, which shows you that these are mapped to a function. And probably it's the stages, which we have a dev stage and it automatically deploys to the stage when we push. So if we go to routes, again, we go to our, click on the actual resource, and this is our new endpoint. So let's go ahead and just copy this. And we need to update to our postman. So forget that works and for post again we're just changing everything up to the resource name. So let's see. We are getting an error for this. So let's do another get. So get seems to work fine. And post, we're getting a internal error. So let's take a look at that. If, if that's what you're actually getting, you can follow along and let's debug this. So if I go back to cloud formation, and we want to go to create. Go 
create URL. Let's open it up. And it is mapped to API Gateway. Dev.create URL. Let's go to monitor and let's open up CloudWatch. And let's see if we're seeing that. Let's open that up. Key arrow. Okay. So if we go back to our code right now, we're dealing with just a different resource. And if we go back to our create URL, let's create right. We were grabbing the host and the editor when this was a rest. Now that event, the event body does, the editor of the event body does look a little different. So we'll need to uh, make some changes. And if we take a look at the body, let's see if we can actually see this. And when we add the rest, the OS was in caps, and now it's in lowercase. So that's the, the problem. So let's go ahead and make that one change. It should be lowercase h instead of a caps some build and that should be the only thing we need to change programmatically let's do a sam deploy okay so let's actually go ahead and test this Good. So create works and let's perform another get. We should now have two records. And let's try delete just to make sure delete isn't broken as well. We're going to pass in an ID. We didn't update the URL, so let's just grab. The URL for delete. Dev slash delete. And after delete, we're passing in the new ID of the record. And we successfully deleted. So let's do a get again. And it should be one record. So we sh our code is actually working with our new REST API. And in our next video, we work on writing the Lambda function to Angular redirect.